Hi, today we are going to study binary search method of divide and conquer strategy. So we will study it with the help of one example and we will also inspect its algorithm and perform finally its analysis. So let us understand binary search. It is an inefficient searching technique which is based on divide and conquer strategy. The prerequisite to perform binary search is that the array list of elements must be sorted. The element you want to search is called as key element. There are three indices which represent lowest, middle and high or the ending of an array respectively. Now what are the binary search conditions? So there are basically or mainly three conditions in a binary search. First condition is that if key value is equal to element at mid index. In that case, if key is matching with any element or mid element of an array, we say element is present or found in this list and its index must be returned from an algorithm. Say for example, this is the case, we are actually initializing three indices, the starting of array list is low, the last element is highest index and mid element is calculated index as low plus high divided by 2. So whatever an element which is represented by mid index is compared with key element, if they are getting equal or they are getting matched, then we are saying we must return that index to represent that element is but if that is not the case, let us see what is another case. The second case says that our key element is lesser than mid element. That means elements which are uh, towards the left of mid are actually lesser than mid element. So key element is also lesser than mid element and left side elements are also lesser than mid element. So it is, we are having probability that the key element might get found in left side sub array. In that case, we must shift our indices so that we can found key element. So we will shift our high index towards the left. So the size of array which is needed to be searched will become smaller. And we will reinitialize our mid index and keep on comparing key element with new mid element unless and until element is found. Third case says that if key element is not equal to mid element, key element is not lesser than mid element, then the case says that key element might be greater than mid element. So in that case, in an array, Elements towards the right of mid are actually greater than mid element and key element is also greater than mid element. So we try to search out key elements towards the right of array. So currently mid is pointing to mid element. In that case, they are not getting matched. Key is also greater than mid and right side elements are also greater than mid. So we will change or shift our low index towards the right, left of array. And we will also shift our mid element towards the left to keep on continuing our search in an array. Let us take one example and see how binary search will work. Say for example, this is an array which is given or comprising of 7 elements. And key element is 60. Note that the elements are already sorted which is the precondition of binary search. Here, we will first initialize our low and high indices as low index pointing to element at 0 and high index is element at n minus 1 which is, is equal to 6. Now, we will calculate mid index as low plus high divided by 2. In our case, it is 0 plus 6 divided by 2 which is, is equal to 3. So, mid index is at index number 3. Now we will start keep on comparing. Compare key element with element at mid. Key element is 60, element at mid is 40. Key is greater than our mid element. So we need to shift our low index towards the right of sub array so we can get it found. 
So in this case, our low index is this initially, which is getting shifted. So now my low is at which index? It is at mid plus one. We are not going to initialize low as mid because we do not wish to search same element again. So low index is now at four. High is index is at six only. New mid is calculated as four plus six divided by two, which is is equal to five. Now mid is at five and element at five is sixty. Sixty is mid element and sixty is key element. We are going to get compare. Now at this particular moment, sixty is equal to sixty. That means element is found in this case. So what is algorithm going to do? Algorithm is going to return mid index. So we can say that element is found at location or index number five. Let us take another example of same array but key element is something different. In this case, key element is sixty five. Again, we will start from first point by initializing low and high indices. Low is index is at zero, high index is at six. Mid is calculated with the formula low plus high divided by two. So in this case, this will be zero plus six divided by two. That is is equal to three. So mid is initialized at index number three. Now key element is getting compared with mid element. Now key element is sixty five and mid element is forty. Is key element is equal to mid for mid element is sixty five is equal to forty? No, condition is false. Sixty five is greater than forty, and all those elements which are greater than forty is towards the right of forty. So we must change our low index as mid plus one. So now my low index is at mid plus one, which is at index number four. Again, mid element will be calculated as low plus high divided by two, which is four plus six divided by two is equal to five. So mid is initialized at index number five. Now we will compare element and mid, which is as equal to sixty, with key element, which is as equal to sixty-five. Are they equal? No, sixty-five. That is, key element is greater than sixty mid element. So we still need to continue our search towards the right of mid. So we low must be initialized as or low must be calculated as mid plus one. That is towards the right of mid. So here low and high both are now pointing to index number six. Mid is calculated as six plus six divided by two. That is six only. So mid is also pointing to same index six. Is element at six is equal to sixty five? No, sixty five is lesser than seventy. That means element is present towards the left of mid, which is is at currently at six. So uh, we must change our high index as mid minus one. So high, which was earlier at six, must get towards the left. That means my now now high is at five and low is at six. Now at this particular moment, high index is now pointing to smaller index, and low index is now pointing to higher index. Hence we say that. Hence we say that if high index is now lesser than low index, key element is not present in this list. Let us see algorithm for binary search, which takes two input, an array element from zero to n minus one, and a key element. Low is initially at the zero and high index is initially at n minus one. Unless and until low index is lesser than or is equal to high index, we keep on searching. First, we will calculate mid element as low plus high by two. Then we compare key element with mid element. If they are equal, we will return mid index. But if that is not the case, we compare key element is greater than mid element. In that case, we shift our low to mid plus one. But in that, if that is not also a case, key element is actually lesser than mid element. So we change our high as mid minus one, and this process will keep on continue unless and until while loop condition is going to get false or return statement is executed. If element is not found, algorithm is going to return minus one.
Now let us see what is our analysis or running complexity of binary search. There is only one comparison with key element. After comparison, our list is reduced from n to n by two sides. That's why to find or to search in a list of n, we can either go in first half or in second half. That is t of n by two plus one comparison with key, whether key is equal to mid or key is less than mid or key is greater than mid. That's why our recurrence equation will become like t of n is equal to t of n by two plus one. And if there is only one element in list, we can directly make a comparison and return a result. That's why t of one is equal to one. And we will solve this recurrence with the help of either substitution method or directly with the help of master method. Here I have used substitution method. So instead of t of n by two, we have substituted t of n by four plus one. And we keep on substituting to get a generalized term as t of n by 2 raised to 3 plus 3, which is can be rewritten as in a generalized form t of n by 2 raised to k plus k. So here n by 2 raised to k, let us put is equal to 1. 2 raised to k will become n and k will be log of n by 2. If we substitute these value, expression will be t of 1 plus log of n to the base so this is, is equal to 1 plus log of n to the base 2. So that is the complexity of binary search. Log of n to the base 2. So whether an element is directly present in the first mid location, then we can directly get an answer that is, is equal to big O of 1. Best case of binary search. In a worst and an average case, whether element is present not present in list or randomly present at some location, we get a complexity or number of steps on an average big O of log of n to the base 2. Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Munira Topia signing out.